it's Brooklyn. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we're in a different location of my room. First off, apologies for the kind of off quality. I'm currently filming on my phone. We're all like obviously in quarantine right now and we're probably looking for shows to binge watch. So I made you guys a video of shows that you need to binge watch on Netflix. I found 10 shows that I absolutely love watching. Some of them I've finished, some of them I haven't finished, some of them are new, some of them are old. So if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get on with the video. Apologies if the noise is really bad. I have my window open right now because if I don't, this room would literally be a sauna. There might be like noise, wind, everything happening right now. Hopefully it's not as bad as I can hear it. The first show is a show that you guys probably have seen a lot on TikTok, on Instagram, like everywhere, and the show is Outer Banks. I absolutely love the show so much. I'm currently watching it for the third time. It's just like a super good feel-good summer show. There's mystery, treasure hunting, romance, drama, like everything you can possibly want in one show. I love the characters. I love the storyline. Gotta be honest though, like at the beginning it did take me some time Time to actually get into the show because it was a bit slow but it starts to really pick up at around episode four and there's ten episodes in the season it's so good towards the end and the show ends on a cliffhanger that nobody saw coming it is such a good show and I love it so much definitely watch Outer Banks such a vibe so fun I can honestly talk about it forever but you guys have probably seen so much about it already so I'm just gonna move on to the next one okay so the next show is on my block and I love this show too it has three seasons so far on Netflix it's it's super funny, super good. I enjoy it a lot. There's a lot of funny scenes that happen in it. I want to say that my favorite character in the show is probably Jamal. He's so funny. He's hilarious. And something that I really like about the show is that there's kind of like little side plots to the main plot and they all connect really well together. It's not like there's just completely different things going on that make absolutely no sense altogether. But it's super good and it's a really good show so I would definitely recommend it. The next show is The Circle and this one is a reality TV show that I loved watching. I found it super cool and it was such an interesting concept. There's essentially a whole bunch of people who are trying to get a $10,000 prize and they all live in the same apartment complex except they never actually meet each other face to face and the only way that they can communicate to each other is through The Circle so each contestant makes an account and they can either be themselves or they can pretend to catfish and try to get the money. So it's really cool to see how people's strategies strategies work and who they can trust and who they can't trust because you never know who anyone is until they actually get eliminated and they don't know if they've eliminated a catfish or a real person who they thought was a catfish. It's super cool and I really really love that show. Hopefully they come out with more seasons because I want to watch more of it but if you're a fan of reality TV watch The Circle. So show number four is Never Have I Ever and this one's actually I think a new show on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it came out this month. It's a show that Mindy Kaling produced and it follows three girls in high school who are trying to reinvent themselves and there's a lot of things that happen in it. There's like romances, drama, true meaning of friendship, all those things. And it's really good. It's also super funny. Episodes are short and there's only one season so far. But it's a really, really good plot line and I loved watching it so I'm probably going to rewatch it again because it was so good. Also in this show they have like these famous people narrating it and I haven't really seen it done before so it's super cool and everything about it is just awesome. I love that show so much. Okay, so the next show is Gilmore Girls and I absolutely love this show so much. Some of you guys have probably already seen it or you guys have known about it but haven't watched it yet. And I would definitely recommend you guys watch it. I love it so much. It gets so good throughout all the seasons. And it's a really good show. And it's just a mom and her daughter living in Stars Hollow. And there's a whole bunch of other things that happen too. It's a really, really good show. I don't want to spoil anything because there's quite a couple seasons. So I don't want to like accidentally spill something. But... It's a good show, I love it a lot, and I think you guys would like it a lot too. So a show that I started watching recently is Modern Family, and I gotta tell you, I love Modern Family so much. It's filmed through the eyes of like a documentary filmer, so it's super cool. There's like sit down interviews, and it's filmed like that to make it look like a docu-series instead of a TV show, which is super cool. Each episode is different, but everything still like makes sense consistently throughout the seasons. And there's, I think, 11 seasons of this show, so there's a lot. I am only on season two. It's so funny. It's a really good show if you ever need a laugh or if you're bored and you just need something to watch. Definitely watch this show because it is so good. 
it's really cool how there's a whole bunch of different families but they're all connected so how you kind of figure that out in the first episode yeah i would definitely recommend watching that show it's a super good show it's definitely one that you can totally binge watch because there's so many episodes of it but yeah it's a really good show so definitely watch it if you have not yet what am i doing okay another show that i loved watching was glee so i feel like the show's kind of made a comeback especially on tiktok like everyone is pointing out all the things that were like really weird about that show and looking back there's so many weird things that happen but i still find it a really good show personally and it follows a whole bunch of students in the glee club and just their journey in that club literally everything you can possibly think of that show has it it's funny it's sad i guess you could say that there's a lot of things that are really true about it like that happen in real life and there's a lot of things that just don't happen in real life that make absolutely no sense there's also a lot of good songs in it because they cover like so many songs and there's also a couple of not so great songs like what does the fox say which they did it was interesting anyways if you want to see all those strange things that happen in the show watch it for yourselves Great show, love it a lot. So the next show that I'm gonna be talking about is Stranger Things, and I love this show so much. It's set in the 80s, which is super fun. It's like a supernatural sci-fi kind of show, and I'm not really a fan of those shows, but I love the show so much, and it's super good. I love the storyline, the characters. There's funny moments, sad moments, interesting things that happen. There's character development, which we love. It has so many good aspects in that show, and it's really good to binge watch. They're starting to tease season four, so if you want to catch up to watch season four when it goes live and like when it comes out and everything, start watching now because who knows when it's going to be out, but it's a super good show, so I would definitely recommend watching it. And finally, the last show is Love is Blind, and I've already talked about this one in my current Obsessions video, and if you guys have not seen it already, make sure to go check it out for like a more in-depth explanation of the show. But I love this show so much. I find it super cool that someone decided to make a reality show about people trying to find their true love without actually seeing each other. And it's all based on an emotional and personal connection. Like I find that so cool. And if you've been watching the show, you'd already like know where some of the people from the show have ended up. Like it's so cute. I don't want to spoil anything in case you have not watched it already. I loved watching that show and seeing the experiences that everyone would go through. Like first off meeting in the pods, which is where they essentially like had their dates where they wouldn't see each other then getting engaged and seeing each other for the first time going to go meet their parents and everything like it's super super good show i loved watching it a lot and that was the last show of this video so i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and i gave you a whole bunch of options for shows to watch on netflix so if you liked it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure to comment and subscribe and if i missed out on any shows that you guys love watching leave them in the comments down below and i will make sure to get to them because i want to find a whole bunch of new shows to watch Hope that you guys are having a great day so far and I will see you guys next Monday for another video. Bye guys, love you.